Many of you may have seen treasure hunting videos, but with these YouTubers consistently finding iPhones, GoPros, Apple Watches and even weapons, a few questions come to mind. Where's the nearest river? And are these real or fake? In this video, we're going to be using our detective skills to take a look at many different treasure hunting channels, from magnet fishing, metal detecting and even river diving. We'll start with probably one of the fakest channels on this list called Underworld, and on this channel, a woman goes around forests and beaches with her trusty metal detector and finds an insane amount of treasure but I'll let you guys decide if it's fake or not. So with video one, we start off with her finding, you know, a small find of $100 million in some random dirt mound, but don't worry, I know what you're thinking, this could just be a lucky one-off. No. But you can clearly see that these videos are purposely fake and made for kids, and she just acts like it's real for entertainment. But what's a bit strange to me is that she has some keywords in her about section on YouTube, with some of them being real treasure, real treasure hunt, and real treasure found video. It just seems a bit weird to me, and seems like it's made to look real so that kids are interested and come back to watch more of her videos. Because, if I'm being honest, this seems like something 5 year old me would have loved, and probably believed. But while that's clearly faked, something that could be secretly faked are the river hunt videos. On the Banger podcast, two river diving YouTubers tried to answer some of the most frequently asked questions to make sure that their fans were confident that people in their niche didn't fake their videos. Then, like for me, the past few days, it's four days, five days of filming and not a single video. A lot of people think that what we do is fake or staged or whatever, and it's not. It's literally just hundreds of hours of searching for these items and sometimes we make it look like sometimes we get lucky well, like we get the, lucky a lot remember when like uh treasure for us has transitioned in videos though because remember we used to be able to find lures right like just fi fishing lures and then it was like that's a video bro but then it was like you gotta find a banger, so you gotta find like a phone or a GoPro. And now we know that the standard of what makes a great treasure hunt video is drastically increased, and that some YouTubers can take multiple days and sometimes hundreds of hours to make just one video, we can once again put on our detective hats and take a look at some treasure hunting videos. First up, we have Bondi Treasure Hunter, who has recently uploaded a video where he finds multiple phones, watches, and even GoPros. So let's take a look. He starts off the video telling the viewers that he has picked this location due to its high traffic and quick water speeds and him and his friends hop on their inflatable mattresses and start floating. And before this video I've always wondered why people sell airpods online but with one missing. So he found one airpod, some sunglasses and then spotted something out of the corner of his eye. It was a phone and after a couple of minutes of trying to get past the strong currents he grabbed it and pulled out a Samsung. After that disappointment, he finds an Apple Watch about 5 meters away from the phone, and then another 20 meters away, they spot another Apple Watch, and then while looking for the Apple Watch in the middle of the river, he finds a GoPro 9 at the side of the river. Hmm. This is probably the most suspicious part of this entire video, but if I'm being truly honest, the pure excitement on this guy's face when he finds something is amazing, as you can clearly see how genuinely happy he is. Another thing he does to prove the doubt is wrong is actively trying to find the original owner of the expensive stuff he's found. What we're going to do is we're going to get the SIM card out, I'll put some photos up, of the last footage of this and we'll try and track down the owner again, but how cool is that? After watching this entire video, I have to say that while there are some aspects of this video that point towards it being fake, the genuine reactions, along with his pursuit to reunite the item with its owner, he has convinced me that this video is real. But let me know what you think in the comments. And now for the final boss of treasure hunting, Dal MYD who is currently sitting at around 13 million subscribers and for over five years has been scuba diving in rivers, finding iPhones, weapons, and a lot more unbelievable things. The detective hat is back on as we take a look at a video in which Jake is trying to find a couple's lost wedding ring, which is somewhere in this massive river. Another YouTuber has also made a video on this video and I think he brings up some good points when determining whether or not this video is real. So if you want to take a look at that after this video, the link to that is in the description. The first thing that he mentions is that in these river videos, almost all of the YouTubers spoil all the cool stuff they find in the first 10 seconds of the video. And whilst this is really annoying, it's just a tactic these channels implement to get you excited and hooked in the first few moments of the video. Then the next thing is the reactions, and whilst on the surface they seem a bit fake, if you take a look at the circumstances, you would probably come to the same conclusion as me. First up is Jake's reaction to finding the ring, which was a bit underwhelming for what he found. <laughs> I did it, man. I can't believe it. Woo! But as he said in the video, the river he was in was really cold, and this led to him reacting less. As one Google search later, I found out that cold weather can cause your muscles to lose heat. 
and contract, causing tightness throughout your body. And finally, the couple's reaction to getting the ring back. Their reaction was similarly underwhelming. This is it. This is it. <laughs> That's it? We found it. That is awesome. Can I see? Yes. I appreciate it, brother. Right. You're the man. One reason for this is because he had already talked to the family on the phone, so it wasn't really that surprising. And secondly, some people just don't know how to react when something like this happens. And I know this because Mr. Beast said in a podcast that he was in that he had given people hundreds of thousands of dollars and they had really underwhelming reactions, which he said led to some fans thinking his videos are fake. But similar to Mr. Beast videos, I don't think that this video or any of Jake's videos are fake. And here's why. Jake is constantly looking for things in crowded and popular areas where people could either have dropped their phones off of a raft or float or simply just not noticed it when it fell out of their pocket. And the final reason is that he always makes a big effort to try and return the things he finds to their original owner and even shows himself posting the phones and other items at the end of the video. And with a channel of that size, I think that if his videos were fake, then there would be at least 20 videos exposing him. But when I searched it up, there wasn't a single one. So I hope you enjoyed and learned something. If you did, please like and subscribe because one day I want to high five The Rock.